14, who is fiddling around there. All right? We've got a 13 and a 15 and a, what else we got out here? 11. And a 9 probably and a scrum. So we're trying to look at a setup for a right field scrum, all right? And with multi option. The easiest move in the game is probably 8, 9, 14, with, with um, 9 creating a bit of pressure. He could, be, he could be the strike player and go through the hole, pop it to 14, whatever. Their, their 11 is usually has a wee bit of depth from that position. Right. Can he kick it? Can he kick it? Especially if 11 comes up. Can he keep the ball? A few options there. 14. <coughs> 14 can go to the left hand side of the scrum and be first receiver. Hopefully he's got the skills to do that. Your group. All right. 9 to 14. He can pass to 12. <coughs> All right. He can pass to 12. He can run. He can pass to 10. He can kick it. All right. <coughs> Probably won't kick it. Probably not a lot of advantage of kicking it. If he passes to 10, he can pass to 13, <coughs> 15, and he can kick it. Alright, so options are run, short ball, right field, behind 12 to 10. Most of this move, 12 will be on 12 in the opposition. We can create a lot of spacing, huge amount of space. So from one setup, let's call that two up, we have got a lot of options. Simple for the players, create space either right side or left side, and we can get quick ball at this rough, or we can kick the ball. If we've got a left foot up, he might be pretty important as well. Okay, so a setup from right field scrum. If you watch Super 15, a lot of teams are playing that setup. <coughs> did, we, did we initiate that setup? I'm not sure. Let's not get carried away here. <laughs> Alright? But the other thing is that you, this, if we don't score from that first strike, we've got multiple options from the second strike. And one of the beauties of playing down this channel here is that we have got some space, haven't we? So I'll just, if we go to this channel and we carry the ball into this channel, Okay, and 14 carries the ball into that channel, he's probably going to have 6 and 8 and 5, 6, 8 and 5, going to that to clean that, that ball. Okay, and then we can play off that 9 to 10, and we can play 1, 2, 3 forwards. We've got plenty, haven't we? We've got 5 left. So we've got width on that play by playing down that channel. And the players will understand that. It might take a little bit of time to understand that. It's the natural place to go to. Okay? And it's hard to defeat. What you do at one, two, and three? Do we want to do that? Now we could hit. Maybe I should put them around the other way. Jet lag city, yeah. We could we could hit two and get lightning quick ball up that rack. Oh, best option? Probably not. We could hit one. Ten hit you one and get a return ball, and he hits with width down this channel. Alright? Hit one, there's a bank ten, hits hits twelve on a wide pass. We're in business, aren't we? He could hit two. And he could pass behind 3 to 12. But what it does is it gives you some width on the game very quickly. If we play 12, alright? If we play 12, 
say that's Ma. No, Ma is not my mother, but I like play for it. I won't do that again. <laughs> One has to enjoy oneself most of the time. All right? But we can hit 12. And if we get quick ball there, what is the outside here to defend? So if Bar goes and Richie and four and eight clean that ball, it's going to be hard to defend, particularly if we go to ten. Right? <coughs> Rather than the fours and we've got with So it's a different setup. Okay? Different setup. Or if we go wide and we free 15 and he gets down here, how do we play from there? Alright, so we have all the options we need. Now probably what we do is probably play off nine, and you might call that black. <coughs> That's a black. And this might be a white. So we know what a white is, it's outside ten, we know what a black is, it's outside nine. And we might be calling a black and hit there and then go again. Alright? The second strike. But, maybe the best option is for these people in this rut, who are they going to be? Who's going to be in this rut? Let's have some involvement here. <coughs> yeah, so we're going to have 15? Yeah. 11. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, good! <coughs> Outstanding. Right? We're going to have those, are they good attackers? They are good attackers. So we might play a back. They reload, and Smithy will talk a little bit about that in a minute. They reload, and we go back that left that side and score in the left corner. Hmm. Now, they would call that as an over port. So we've got, we've got <coughs> Carter, or Krugan, or whoever. He's calling black, 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 because we're running there. Everybody knows they're going to black because they've done it before, but they're going to black, and he's calling it because he's a talented navigator natural director of traffic. These guys get out of the rut and Conrad Smith says, monkey, hands, because he looks up and sees two guys in front of him. They've reloaded out of that rut, he might see three, bang, 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 scoring the three. He might say, monkey, worm, because the fullback's not there. <laughs> All right, because the fullback is worried about that black, and he's here trying to cover the whole field, and he's not there, so they can open call on what they see. <laughs> it doesn't matter who makes that open call; they can all call it together, but they've got to make the call. That's part of the deal, and that's what you've coached them to do. And monkey might be the open call. Monkey work. Monkey hands. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I think, depending on where you are on the park, for your sector, there's multiple options off there, what you want to do. And that's pretty clear. How many phases would you look at in setup? Like you, you talk there, more well, three different phases, right? Essentially. Well, we've, got, we've gone wide, haven't we? Yeah. We've had a, our strike as a natural weakness outside 13. We go, to, we go for the, we get tackled here. That's two. That's one. Oh, okay. We have our normal way to play is we're going to play black. We could play white. All right. We're going to play black. We might play a second black. We've only got seven on that rut. We've got seven forwards there. And we reload because there's a weakness in the defence line. So I, what I'm trying to say is like, there's only one rut there. And you might go to two, all right? You go to two, and then play from there. Um, what I'm trying to say is, let's not pattern. Let's make decisions. Let's strike, like I said, on that, on that, on the set piece, and then we have some second strike situation. Yes, yes, 